In this video I will talk about sacred diet for eternal use. What you have to eat to live forever young. And this is will be first I will present summary of this video and uh, then later the longer version. So please, as always, I'd, I recommend you to download this presentation as PDF file. You will get access to uh, uh, sources of information so you can learn more and actually it will save your time. Let's go first summary. Nature provides intriguing examples of radical lifespan extension that challenge the conventional understanding of aging. Yes, again, so as you mean, I mean, I am scientist. I don't uh, believe in some kind of official science which is compromised and uh, distorted version of uh, real science. So I do my own research and this research gives me very much different results from what we can get from popular websites or medical professionals. So in the real or social insects such as bee, ants and termites, uh, the so-called royals like bee queens and ant or and termite queens live 20, 50 times longer than their working working uh, individuals uh, with the same genetics. The same genetics, but 20 times longer life. Why? So this longevity is epigenetically controlled, meaning it influenced by factors beyond genetics. What? Environment and food. So take also the uh, naked mole red as another fascinating example. This uh, rodents experience a significant shift in their bodies and metabolism after uh, around five years age, changing uh, their social role in the colony and adopting a diet rich in fat, especially uh, short chain fatty acids and, uh, and medium, medium chain fatty acids, uh, which they get from feces of young individuals. Yes, it is a little bit uh, strange, but it is so for these uh, rodents. So this adjustment suggests that the epigenetic mechanism play a crucial role in their longevity. So if you will see why uh, these uh, uh, royals and uh, naked mole rats live much longer, then you will see that the uh, very important role of these uh, fatty acids, short chain fatty acids and middle chain fatty acids. This is a bee queen, and it it lives about seven years, but actually. It dies not because of uh, this uh, uh, senile degeneration. It just running out of semen of uh, to produce more eggs, fertilized eggs, and then bees kill uh, this old queen and produce a new queen. Bowhead whales with estimated lifespan exceeding 200 years also raise the questions. While genetics may be implicated, the influence of epigenetic regulations, particularly in tumor suppression, cannot be dismissed. Even biblical patriarchs with reported lifetimes ranging from 777 to 969 years uh, hint uh, at the uh, crucial role of diet or longevity. So, again, uh, if we will trust the Bible, then you will see why uh, these uh, uh, patriarchs lived so long and why we live so short now. So grass-fed goat and, cheap, and, and sheep uh, milk, uh, along with limited red meat and animal fat, were staples of their diet. Interestingly, that goat and sheep milk, with its high content of short and medium chain fatty acids, stands out for its nutrition nutrition profile. And poor uh, people living at high altitudes consume dairy products made from goat milk and have longer life expectancy in average. Of course, it is not the only food they, they consume, but again, this gives us a hint what uh, about the importance of consuming these short and medium chain fatty acids. So this is uh, how we see these patriarchs, and then it is like, what is recommended? Ruminants, and consuming uh, milk of ruminants, and uh, maybe meat. 
Examine a uh, human breast milk provides through the insides. Despite its la high lactose uh, concentration, uh, human breast milk induces mild ket ketosis in infants due to the presence of medium chain fatty acids. This adaptation might suggest that maintaining of mild ketosis achieving through a diet mimicking this uh, human breast milk could potentially influence epigenetic mechanisms, extending longevity. However, a challenge arises uh, for the elderly who may already face he uh, health, health complications from carbohydrate-rich diet. Glycation, the reaction of sugar with proteins and lipoproteins, contributes to the stiffening of blood vessels and to the development of chronic health issues like chronic hypoxia and uh, then uh, chronic inflammation, etc. Certain substances like minoxidil, uh, GABA, uh, GABA, and uh, glycine, proline, extracts of deal seeds, and, and specific plants have shown promise in inducing elastin synthesis and proving elasticity of blood vessels and of the tissues. So it also can be a part of the diet to live uh, longer, and especially it can help to elderly people. So this is breast milk. This is the key for longevity, okay? Let's uh, think, uh, think uh, logically. Yeah, okay. Also, to counteract the aging process, re the removal of waste products uh, like lipofuscin and misfolded proteins becomes crucial. Unfortunately, our bodies lack, uh, lack enzymes to efficiently break down these waste products. So supplements with some bacterial enzymes uh, may help to uh, remove the waste. Furthermore, the, as gastric juice are acidity decreases with age, consume, compromising uh, protein digestion, adopting a diet with easy digestible products such as eggs, or supplementing with amino acids uh, because be becomes essential. This approach may mitigate inflammation and prevent the development of autoimmune diseases associated with aging. Consumption of lactose and lactose-derived prebiotics such as lactulose may regulate gut microbiota and benefit gut health. Okay, in the pursuit of radical life extension, it becomes imperative to explore dietary choices that impact health and longevity. Autoimmune diseases such as psoriasis and arthritis often emerge as a consequence of leaky gut syndrome, where the gut's epithelium layer becomes permeable to bacteria and proteins. While some advocate for the exclusion of dairy products, particularly due to the concern about casein, which uh, the complexity of human metabolism requires a nuanced approach. So it is not very easy, it's not so straightforward, but okay, let's consider, let's uh, follow nature, let's uh, consider science and all this epigenetics. The Maasai people whose diet consists of mainly of milk, meat and blood exhibit higher rates of autoimmune diseases. Yes, it's true. I believe that they are getting, or at least some of them, are getting leaky gut syndrome. Why? 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 Because, okay, a little bit uh, further. Uh, the role of casein in triggering autoimmune reaction remains unclear, and the lactose intolerance further complicates the issue. Okay, guys, so look, I believe Lactose, which is a uh, concentration of lactose is higher in the human breast milk than in cow milk. I believe the lactose plays a very important role to suppress leaky gut syndrome. And leaky gut syndrome, if it develops, then uh, the Maasai people uh, live shorter because toxins accumulate, and, uh, but also uh, this... Uh, uh, stiffening of the blood vessels happens. They live longer a little bit, they are much more healthy than other African tribes, but yet they don't live uh, a thousand years like our patriarchs. Why? Again, it's a little bit complicated question, but the, this kind of diet with high consumption of da uh, dairy product is a key for longevity, in my opinion. Okay, lactose-free milk fortified with lactase 
enzyme uh, to improve digestion is recommended for those uh, with lactose intolerance. Yet studies show conflicting evidence about the effects of dairy intake. Some suggest that in increased dairy consumption may attenuate oxidative and inflammatory stress in overweight and obese adults, challenging the notion that all dairy is detrimental. The digestion of lactose leading to uh, galactose metabolism. Yes, okay, if you produce a, a lot of this lactase, then you're getting a little bit to problem because it may be a problem, uh, this galactose is uh, maybe a problem because it is uh, converted to energy only in the liver and it is producing some stress, oxidative stress uh, because of it. But okay, it, it may, it was, uh, it has been linked to accelerated aging in rodents. However, human metabolism differs significantly and reports indicate that increase in dairy intake may have beneficial effects, reducing oxidative stress and inflammation in certain populations. Again, it is, it is of course individual, but if you uh, go to science, you will understand how you can handle it. And how to, with lactose, you can improve your, uh, uh, not only digestion, but health and uh, reduce oxidative stress. So the unique digestive process of lactose in newborns leading to the production of uh, short-chain fatty acids in the colon, uh, highlighting beneficial uh, health, benef health benefits. What is happening? Newborns cannot digest uh, lactose cannot, so it goes to stride to the to the colon and gets gets fermented to with production of short chain fatty acids. Uh, uh, some in uh, older uh, when uh, uh, infants develop to childhood, then they are getting enough of this enzy enzyme uh, enzyme to uh, break uh, lactose to galactose and glucose and then it is maybe not very much efficient but yet again it is a good question maybe lactose is very important for production of elastin fibers and elastin fibers are we, we, we are very much uh, need this uh, production for to keep our body elastic but unfortunately, after the childhood, we cannot produce uh, elastin fibers. It's very strange. Why? Maybe because we can digest lactose. Or oh, I don't know. Okay, some people don't digest lactose, but they do, don't, don't consume uh, dairy product. So for uh, lactose tolerant individuals in, uh, like me, uh, increasing acidity in the small intestine through Measures like consuming ascorbic acid together with lactose may promote the fermentation of lactose in the colon. So what I am trying to do, I want to uh, kind of uh, mimic the digestion of newborns and to ignite production of uh, short chain fatty acids, of course, in my colon. But also I believe that it is it can uh, ignite and can help to in production of elastin fibers and uh, then um, elasticity of my blood vessels and the tissues will, will be improved and then this is a way to 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 use to forever you to to live forever young so so my proposal for a radical lifespan extension suggests a ketogenic diet with a significant intake of eggs why eggs because it's easy to dig to digest eggs also dairy products and lactose as additive, as a special as a supplement with ascorbic acid. Yeah, lactose and ascorbic acid as a supplement to, to mimic the digestion uh, of lactose or I mean the, the process what ignites production of short chain fatty acids in newborns. So this uh, approach aim, uh, aims to, uh, to address the leaky gut syndrome enhance uh, gut health and potentially to contribute to the production of chain, chain fatty acids. Yeah, so I believe this again, uh, production of ch short chain fatty acids and, and gut health is very, very, very much important for our health. So how to do it instead of consuming of fiber, I propose to consume this probiotics, probiotics and uh, then it is lactose with uh, uh, citric, with citric acid or with um, ascorbic acid is 
probiotic. So it can be used by bacteria to produce uh, short chain fatty acids. Okay, this is a short chain fatty acids. Of course, uh, the butyric acid and isobutyric acid are the, the, mo the most healthy for us, and uh, they uh, feed um, um, epithelium layer, and epithelium layer gets healthy. Otherwise, we are getting sh uh, this um, leaky gut syndrome. So the, the potential benefits of dairy consumption, particularly in conjunction with specific supplements, okay, so it's, we, we need some, some more, like magnesium, potassium, and zinc, and other supplements, and ascorbic acid, and maybe more vitamins. So it presents a fascinating direction for further exploration in the quest of for extended and healthy lifespan. So I believe this is the way to go. Of course, there are some many more more details to to follow and to rejuvenate our body, especially if we already have some health uh, problems. But but this is the way to go. And while my recommendation align with growing public interest in low carbohydrate ketogenic diet. It is crucial to consider individual variations like uh, you are lactose intolerant or tolerant, how consume lactose or lactose, uh, which is also a probiotic. So, and, uh, so more research and clinical trials are necessary before such a diet can be, can be recommended under, under supervision of uh, medical professionals. I want to remind that I am not a medical professional. I am science. Uh, I am a professional science, scientist and PhD in physics and mathematics with experience to work in chemistry, fluid mechanics, and um, um, engineering. Um, but uh, this is what what it is my profession to find the solution to complicated question to complicated problems, and. Uh, Problems that why, uh, do, uh, according to Bible, uh, these patriarchs live up to thousand years, and we live so short, ten times shorter. So I see them some I mean, links, references to that royals, I mean, uh, bee queens live ten times or twenty times longer than working bees. Why? What is the difference? Working bees consume a plant-based uh, diet. Uh, royal bees consume royal jelly. Okay, I will go in a little more, more details in extended version of uh, such video. And then, okay, but it gives us a hint. A change uh, of the diet from uh, carbohydrates to uh, middle chain fatty acids and short chain fatty acids, it may give you eternal use. This is my hypothesis. I work on it, of course, at reversal of aging is a little bit more complicated. We have to produce this elastin and there are, there are many supplements to, you know, to do it. Yeah, okay, but I think this is the way to go. Okay, so I will not go to the, uh, uh, to the more, detailed, uh, uh, more detailed presentation. So uh, this more detailed presentation gives some references to my earlier videos and some scientific publications but I would tell you that even this longer version is actually a shortened uh, version of my much longer research uh, which is I don't know with hundreds of uh, scientific publications and uh, and uh, so and a lot of ideas what to do so it is it is going unfortunately this research is not anyhow supported so then I'm limited in my uh, opportunities to share my knowledge, but and especially, again, I am not supposed to give you medical advice. We need clinical trials. We need uh, support and help of other professionals to, 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 to discover this uh, sacred diet and to discover the supplements which can rejuvenate our body but well it's, it's unfortunately i tried to get support but unfortunately i failed i failed sorry so but okay you can support me at least by pressing like and bell button subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends and family it's uh, it means a lot for me and uh, again uh, i hope you will have a uh, happy new year and you will be okay and with health and i tell you i changed to this diet quite recently, 
uh, only a few months ago, maybe three months ago, and I see such big improvement in my uh, health. I mean, not uh, I, I was not sick anyhow. I didn't have any uh, problems with my health, but muscles started to grow because of uh, dairy product. They have this leucine uh, amino acid, and this, this amino acid mm, uh, this activate uh, protein synthesis and hopefully activate synthesis of elastin fibers. So, and I see that my muscles grow very quick, very quick. So I, my weight went from 68 to 75, and it is growing yet more, not much with fat, but I don't have abdominal fat, but mostly uh, muscles on my legs grow because I, I'm swimming in fins, uh, quite intense. Try to swim every day if it is possible for two hours, so it's, uh, yeah, and I see that, I, I see the change, I see the change in my appearance, it's, uh, it is fascinating, it gives me a lot of energy to continue. Okay, thank you for your time, and have a wonderful day, and happy new year, ciao, ciao.